Hey everyone, so I'm ready to go here in my car to make another video for you. So today I thought I'm going to introduce you to some of the smaller, quieter neighborhoods here in town. Sort of the pocket neighborhoods wedged in between the more popular ones. They're equally as nice and I thought you should know about them. It's a little gloomier out here today in Santa Barbara, but maybe that's a good thing. This way you get to see what it looks like on a not as sunny day. So let's get going. The first neighborhood we're going to look at today is called Samarkand. It sits north of the 101 along Las Positas Road and is a very quiet and charming neighborhood with mainly single family homes. Its rolling hill type topography allows for some beautiful mountain views for some of the homes here. The architecture is predominantly cottage and Mediterranean style, but you'll find some Tudor and other styles sprinkled in as well. The very reputable covenant living at the Samarkand retirement community is located here as well. The Delavina Commercial Corridor services the Samarkand neighborhood conveniently with its popular restaurants, charming consignment stores, coffee shops, grocery stores and so much more. Oak Park, another neighborhood I'll talk about later, uses this commercial strip as well. Bordering on Samarkand's northern end, you will find Mackenzie Park with a large grassy area, a playground and a very popular enclosed dog run for your furry friends. Across the street, you may enjoy a round of golf at Santa Barbara Golf Club. Further down Las Positas Road, Adams Elementary School can be found as well as the Earl Warren Showgrounds. This site is used for all kinds of events like fairs, circus visits and the popular fiesta rodeos. Next we're exploring Oak Park. This neighborhood with its seamless flow into the downtown area has a bit more of an urban feel to it. Oak Park's wading pool is a big hit for the little kids during the summer, as is the playground. This park hosts many ethnic festivals here in Santa Barbara. This neighborhood is largely influenced by Cottage Hospital and all the medical facilities around it. You will find a variety of buildings here single-family cottages, multi-family homes, condos, commercial spaces, as well as many medical offices. Along Chapala Street, closer to the Upper East Side neighborhood, you will mainly find smaller residential cottages and very charming homes. From Las Positas, I'm taking Modoc Road to my next neighborhood, Hidden Valley. In this very special, safe and quiet area, you can find condos and townhouse complexes, as well as single-family ranch and cottage-style homes. Valverde, one of the more reputable retirement communities, is located here as well. The tucked away Hidden Valley Park is a much-loved and safe playground here in town. The tree-lined streets with sidewalks and mostly single-family homes here are so lovingly taken care of.
this area will especially catch your eye if you love gardening. So many of the front yards here are blooming in all colors and will put a big smile on your face. Veronica Place is one of the highlights to see for festive and fun decorations during the holiday season. Wow, those yards were a real treat, don't you think so? Driving across Las Positas is taking me up into my last neighborhood for today, Bel Air Knolls. Sitting atop a knoll, many of the homes here have amazing views, depending where they are situated, either of the mountains, the city and ocean, or even all of it in some instances. Architectural styles include larger scale Tudor, Mediterranean, and some contemporary. But you will also find smaller mid-century modern and ranch style homes here. This very quiet area is conveniently located near Hendry's Beach, a local's favorite, the Mesa neighborhood, as well as the Upper State Street shopping. It also provides easy access to the 101 for a fast commute to either Goleta or downtown. The wonderful Ealings Park is right next to this neighborhood. It offers grassy wide open fields and playgrounds, hiking trails, biking and even paragliding and of course endless views a privilege here in santa barbara that i am truly grateful for every day i hope you enjoyed today's introduction to some of the smaller neighborhoods here in santa barbara there's certainly more neighborhoods to talk about and i certainly will do so in some of my future videos so if you'd like to learn more about the area please consider subscribing to my channel my name is katinka gertz i'm a local mother wife and realtor here in town and on this channel i talk about all things santa barbara so i hope i will see you again in one of my next videos until then i say bye bye